So now we're going to be running through how you can actually manually fulfill orders using the default Shopify dashboard and the orders section. Then we're going to move on how to automatically fulfill orders by using the DS's app. So first of all in Shopify on the left hand side you want to go down to this orders section. This is where all of your orders from any customers that have bought your products and have either sent a payment through or who have a payment pending will have sent an order through via your store. So all of the orders will show up here. It will show you the date, the order number, the actual customer, the order channel, the total that they've actually paid and whether it's pending or fulfilled and any other statuses etc. We have a few different subheadings. We have all which shows all orders and we have the orders which are particularly unfulfilled, orders that are unpaid, open orders and also closed orders which are kind of archived orders if you like. So if you want to create a test order you can also press create order in the top right which is actually behind my camera. You should see a green button in the top right of your screen which is hidden behind my camera and you can press create order to create a test order if you just want to try this out for yourself if you haven't yet got any customers so that's how you can do that so what you would do is you would select this button which lets you select all of the orders or you can individually tick which order you want to actually select and then when you tick that it comes up with some boxes based on your selection right so we have create shipping labels we have markers fulfilled capture payments and more actions where we can print packing slips archive the order so that's usually when the order is done and dusted and we don't need it anymore and then we can also unarchive the order too. This also shows any apps you have so we can process the orders via our other apps but we're going to ignore that for now. If we wanted to capture payments we'd click on here. This will capture all payments for the selected orders so if I press that it will capture the order payment over here and then it will have this small progress bar and it will say payment pending obviously if they haven't sent a payment through. Then we can click markers fulfilled. This will send a notification to the customer which you can customize in the notifications menu in the settings of Shopify. This basically allows you to customize the notification people receive based on orders being confirmed, orders fulfilled and certain other aspects too. And now it says payment status paid because we've captured the payment and the fulfillment status is unfulfilled. So we could tick this now that we've captured the payment. We can press on markers fulfilled, press markers fulfilled and it will say fulfilling order over here and we just wait for that to complete. And you will have to wait for a few of these actions to fully process in the Shopify dashboard just like the payment took a few moments to process. But once they do process then it should mark the orders fulfilled actually in the dashboard as well. So after refreshing the page, now the fulfillment status says in progress, which you can see over here. So if we actually click on the order, we can see where it says in progress. And then where it says DS's fulfillment service requested, this sends a request through to actually complete the order once you've marked it fulfilled. So from there, you basically have to go through and complete the order. So if I was to manually do it, I would then place the order through AliExpress for the product itself. Okay. And we can see the orders being paid for. We can see the order totals, the actual product, which has been ordered and the location of our fulfillment service. Now mine is currently selected as DS's because I've set it up with the app, but usually this would be set as the default Shopify information. We can also scroll down and see customer's information. We can see an analysis on fraud, whether people have tried to dock a payment or not, and also the timeline on us archiving and requesting fulfillment for an example. Okay, and we can view additional information here and we can also leave comments. We can refund the customer directly from this order too. And we have a few other options. If we want to scroll down, we can also press delete order. So we could also go ahead and delete this order. And that's how to manually fulfill them. So now I'm going to show you how to fill orders automatically using the DS's app. Now you can see we have a few additional orders. Now these are test orders. As you can see, the customer is the Google store bot. So this was marked as a fake customer. This is a test order which I've created to show you the process. We'd go to DS's. Now DS's is very crucial throughout this course. I have videos on DS's and how to use it and how to install it if you want to refer to those. But you install it in the same fashion that you would any Shopify app. Now when you install DS's, it will come up with this catalog. So I can go ahead and press settings and we're going to go into the actual settings of the DS's app. So DS's, when you install it, it will ask you to link it to your AliExpress account. I really recommend going onto AliExpress.com and creating an AliExpress account. You'll need this because this this is where you usually manually create orders via and since DS's is made by the AliExpress company you'll need an account there to then bulk make orders through the DS's app in Shopify. So make an AliExpress account, install DS's and then follow the steps which it prompts you with to your AliExpress account so then you get to the point that I'm in at this position in the course. It holds your hand through that so there's no requirement for me to show you it. It's very straightforward and basic. After you've installed DS's and after you've connected it to your AliExpress account like I have here we can then set it up. It will also link 
into your Shopify store. As you see, I've linked this to my Shopify store too. We have a few different settings under here. Now under shipping, this is very important. So you can set up your default shipping method for specific countries. You can add a global shipping method card under here in this section. So if we were to add United States for an example, which is very important, this is gonna be most likely your main source. We can add a shipping system. You want to add the AliExpress shipping under here. So this is where we would select our default shipping system, which we're gonna to use to fulfill all of our orders with by default. I'd recommend using AliExpress shipping. So you could just type in AliExpress to filter this order list. And then I'd recommend finding AliExpress standard shipping over here and selecting that as your main shipping method over here. Press save. So this should be your global shipping method, which we've added onto here. And of course, if you want to add more shipping options, you can do that via Shopify, or you can add more in this box in DSs if you want it to be more advanced later. Under order, this is where you can customize the orders which are sent, okay? So this is the message sent to suppliers with your order information, okay? So I've already customized this, so I'd recommend you to copy mine. You're basically sending the supplier, i.e. the company which you're buying your products from to then drop ship to your customers. You're sending them a message, okay? We sent them this message, I'm drop shipping. please do not put any invoices, QR codes, promotions, or your brand name logo in the shipments. Please ship as soon as possible for repeat business, thank you. So you're basically telling them that I'm using drop shipping as my business model, so the products which you send to me, which I'm gonna obviously route to the customers of mine, don't put your custom packaging or logos on it because I don't want them to see that it's Chinese products and lose trust in my store. So that's what you're telling them. That's very important so you don't have any annoying packaging on it. Then you can also customize the order management here. So I'd recommend leaving all these options by default. Fulfillment settings, I'd recommend leaving fulfill items in bulk. So this allows DSs to fulfill an order only after all products of the order has tracking numbers and then triggers Shopify to send one email per customer. So leave it on here so we don't have to have a strenuous fulfillment process, okay? You can also activate the tracking feature if you have the advanced plan, so that offers tracking information, which is super important. So if you do upgrade, I really do recommend using that feature. And you can also send tracking numbers to PayPal, which mainly sends it to your transaction. So that can be useful to refer to as well. As for customizations on the notifications, you can get notified when suppliers change prices on AliExpress or when a product is out of stock, okay? So inventory, you might want to turn this on for an example. Now, this is very, very important information. So under the settings on synchronization, this is where you can actually tell DSs to disable the product that you've got in your store from being sold if the AliExpress supplier actually selling it runs out of stock and the product goes unavailable because then that means you won't get any further orders that could backtrack you that you'll have to fulfill later. You can set the quantity to zero on Shopify when they have no stock so people don't accidentally make an order or you can set the product as a draft temporarily while the product's out of stock so it doesn't actually show up on your store. So that might be something you want to consider. And you can also do this for specific product variants and when inventory changes on that product too. There's also automatic price updating. So this will change the updated price according to a specific price rule that you set. So if the supplier changes the price, you might want DSS to increase the price based on the supplier increasing or decreasing theirs. And there's a lot of useful information which you want to pay attention to here, guys, when using DSS, okay? Now on DSS, you'll also have an order list. So over here, we have open orders and archived orders so the archived orders are the ones which we archived before open orders are the ones which are currently active and sent through by customers i currently have two test orders which i showed you previously so when we go into pending it will show all these test orders under here it'll show the product cost the shipping costs and the total price of the transaction as a whole so we can view information of all orders under here and we can select them with a tick box to select each one manually and we can also fulfill the orders directly from here too okay so if i select both of them i can press fulfill orders manually for an example and i'd recommend to install the ds's product importer plugin to chrome as well this is very important because it allows you to use the app a little bit quicker and use a few different features so when you've installed the ds's plugin we can then use the plugin in the best fashion and quicker so we can sync via the ds's chrome extension and this will synchronize your orders if there's anything to update we can also sync the latest tracking number from aliexpress which shows your customers the tracking information so these are two options you might want to consider now if we select both of these orders orders and press fill orders manually, this will take us to the selected orders box, which allows us to mark selected orders as fulfilled. So on this screen, you can tick the orders in bulk all at once, and we can also mark the orders fulfilled on Shopify too. So we can just press mark as fulfilled, and it says, are you sure you want to manually fulfill these orders? Please note that DSs will stop syncing order information for the orders that have been placed on AliExpress. And then we just press confirm once we have that in mind and press okay. And now we have zero pending orders that are open and we 
we have two fulfilled orders. So it now says that these orders are fulfilled via AliExpress as if they've been paid for. Now these were two test orders, so since we didn't actually make a payment and no payment was actually theoretically captured, this means that these orders won't be placed. Unless obviously you've made a payment or you've saved some payment information and a payment has been made, they should just be test orders. So that's how you can test these orders. Always be careful when doing testing because sometimes you may have to make a payment. So pay attention to your AliExpress account if there's a payment method bound to it already, just to keep that in mind. So that's how to manually bulk fulfill orders on DSs when you start getting a lot of orders. And I'd recommend doing this when you start getting five to 10 daily orders to save you a lot of time.